Bob Womp and YouTube Rifle Gaming here. <laughs> What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a strategy to use on the Templar. Now this strategy works very well for the Templar on hard, I mean it can work on normal of course, but as we all know, the hard Templar is going to be hard. So we're going to need like a solid strategy to take on the Templar because a lot of the cheeses against the Templar has been patched. So, it's time to strategize on this mother ucky. And one of the strategies that I'm going to share with you guys that seemed to help me out a lot is to go to the right side of the map and on the right side of the map there's going to be this huge concrete block you can jump on top of the concrete block but the objective with this concrete block is to hide behind it you're going to need cleansed when you get marked and i'm assuming you guys know how to do that if you're looking up a strategy against the templar if you don't well only the relic holder can clinch you guys and this is a great spot to gather when the relic holder goes to cleanse you Pretty much when we first come over to this side, we want to try to calm down the Harpies. And then when the Harpies get calmed down, make sure at least one of the squad members are still worrying about the small enemies. Because if there starts to be too many small enemies, it just becomes an annoyance. So you want to try to make sure you're taking out the enemies as well while being over here. They will start to calm down. But when the Templar is in the middle, the Relic Order can actually go around and try to block the Templar from teleporting. By standing in these rings right here. If you stand in these rings, the Templar won't teleport and won't regain its shield, so you'll be able to do some heavy damage to the Templar. And the reason why the Relic Holder should go after these rings is because the Relic Holder is going to be doing the least amount of damage to the Templar. All the Relic Holder does is take down the shield to the Templar, so that allows us to start shooting at it. The Relic Holder should also be calling out when he or she is about to fire at the Templar, just so it alerts the whole squad to start focusing fire. Because sometimes you won't get trapped in the shield and you won't even realize the Templar's shield is even down. Because when you do first destroy the Templar's shield, as we know, a shield will spawn around us. And we have to shoot down that shield to even start shooting at the Templar. But I suggest to only run around and block its spawn when the Templar is in the middle. Just because it's the easiest spot to keep the Templar distracted and to keep the Relic Holder safe. Not to mention, while the Templar is in the middle, you can do a huge amount of damage just because the Templar is more of an open target in the middle. But when the Templar starts teleporting to other areas other than being in the middle, and you guys get marked from the oracles that you all do not destroy, just make sure you guys gather around the Relic Holder in this area. Because if you guys are all cluttered together in this area, the Relic Holder can get a hold of you all easy. So the point is to stay over on this side as a team. Work together. Don't be running around the map like a chicken with its head cut off. Once again, just to clarify, the only time someone should be away from this area that we're all cluttered together at is when the Templar is in the middle and the Relic Holder is ready to go block the Templar from teleporting from the middle. But when the Templar ends up getting away from the middle, make sure the Relic Holder retreats back to the right side strategy spot. Sometimes you might think this spot isn't that great just because of the chaos around this spot. Like I said before, you just gotta try to keep the enemies calmed down around this area though. It might take you a couple tries to get this strategy down pat, but I'm telling you, after a while, this is a great way to defeat the Templar. That's the only downfall about this area, but all in all, this area works really well against the Templar. I mean, I used it, and I took out the Templar just fine. I died at the end doing this setup though, but still, the setup worked nicely. And because I died, I can now show you what I was talking about by these rings the Relic Holder needs to try to get in. Like I said before, it blocks the Templar from teleporting and from regaining its shields. This spot right here is great to hide from the Templar, and it's great to shoot at the Templar from here as well. Also a little side tip for this setup, be careful when using rockets. Some bad things can happen to good players by accidentally shooting a teammate. Oh, and not to mention, while the Relic Holder is also blocking the spawns from the Templar to teleport, the Relic Holder should also be trying to worry about the Oracles. Only when the Templar is in the middle though, once again. I hope this little strategy helps you all out with the Templar. And also, not to mention, if you do have raid weapons, be sure to be using those to take out the oracles around your side. Your squad can take out, you know, two or three oracles that spawn around on the right side. One oracle spawn will be right before the staircase. The other ones are pretty self-explanatory. You'll see them around in this area. And don't try to risk shots. If you can find cover around in this area where you can shoot the Templar, but you're a hard target, try going to that area. Obviously, the area that I was trying to shoot the Templar at from over here was not working out too well. I was still taking some massive damage from the Templar, but there's all kinds of cover around in this area as well. It was just a silly mistake done by me while I was recording doing this setup. 
But that's about wrapping up this video, guys. Hope it ends up helping you all out. Oh, oh, and look what I got from the Templar. I got the freaking Fatebringer. So heck yeah. I just got done taking out Crota and didn't get shit, but then I ended up starting the Heart of Vault of Glass raid. Got here, beat the Templar, and as you can see, I got the freaking Fatebringer. And if you guys don't know about this pistol, well, it's awesome. And I'm going to be doing a full review on it when I get it fully upgraded for you all. But that's about wrapping up this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If the video was enjoyable, please remember to leave a like. It helps the video out a lot. And not to mention, it's much appreciated by me. But I'm out of here, though. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a shortcut I passed the first part of the raid. And it's going to involve explosions. And everyone likes explosions.